My brother, I call him Quantum John, is always coming up with interesting fringe ideas about reality, which inevitably suck me into a dialogue. I can't resist the fringe, you know. The last one was about the past. He said, I would anticipate that once a certain percentage of correction is made in the past, by reframing it, it would translate into future events, putting you in control of future outcomes. The body would recover from past damage because you changed the memory of the original incident in a way that removes the repeated memory, allowing the body to return to a state prior to the injury, be it mental or physical, because as far as their body is concerned, it never happened the way you repeatedly created it. Hmm. I like that viewpoint. I commented back. I fully agree. We construct the past as well as the present and the future. Reconstruction of the past, as church and government historians will tell you, is a great way to soften mass traumas. The constant search for what really happened is a red herring. What happened back then happened to a different person than you are now, so there is no way to recreate the past accurately without physically going back there. Andy Bassaggio, the NASA chrononaut, makes this point. He says, when a person does physically go back in time, they become part of the events objectively and subjectively. So changing the past from right now is something done subjectively and emotionally. That is what the DNA is responding to, your reaction to the past, not the past events themselves. That reaction energy is always in play, or active, until the energy of the reaction is dissipated, using any number of modalities. A negative or positive reaction is always caused by a judgment and conclusion about a past event. Remove the judgment and conclusion, and you re you've removed the energy from that event, and the DNA will unburden. In quantum reality, there is no past or future. These are constructs of the mind. What we use as the past is simply a way to, of categorizing perceptions of experiences in chronological order because it's become easy for the mind to operate that habitual way. Quantumly, however, everything is happening at once. We say we have memories. But what we actually are referring to is a state of being within which we perceived certain things. That state of being is then categorized as a past event because current perceptions don't match the perceptions in, the, in that state of being. We just say something happened that is not happening now. The quantum truth is that yes, it is happening now, it's all happening now. It's your mind and brain automatically categorizing what perceptions go with what states of being across what we arbitrarily classify as the past and the future. We call that time. We set up all sorts of scenarios and mechanisms to make time real to us. Aging, property ownership, relationships, consequences, calendars, holidays, maps, news, TV, Newtonian physics. Anything on a schedule or in a certain chronological order usually cause equals effect, that builds creative consensus within the society in which we live. We all agree on it. But in the quantum world, time has no flow from past to present to future. In fact, quantum time can run backwards, skip around, and do a Mobius strip. Of course, that's all from the reference point of our arbitrary viewpoint of what we classify as a past or future event. Play with this quantum truth in order to free yourself from time-based frustrations and upsets. Consider a past event. Now reassign it to the future. It hasn't happened yet, or it may not happen. Consider that event happening to another person, or consider it as having happened to everybody. This can be a little disconcerting when you realize how fragile our House of Time cards is, and it allows for more possibilities to show up for you. You can consider something you would like to see in the future and look back at it as it has already happened. 
You can step into completely other realities in this way, simply by untethering yourself from the consensual matrix of time. I believe exercising the mind and brain in this way will open up new abilities and superpowers dormant within our DNA, activating new areas of perceptions and experiences, new areas of joy and well-being. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.